Hey guys, welcome back to Anderton's. Now, one of the uh, saddest things for us about lockdown was that we had to stop filming the Sounds Like videos. And now that lockdown's over, I'm gonna try and restart them, but alas, Rabir and Matt are just too busy. Uh, lives have moved on to come back. So I have scoured the land for a suitable replacement team, and I think I've found them. Wanna meet them? Cece and Dave. Here they are. So I shall now uh, ably hand over the uh, Sounds Like Baton to your new Sounds Like Without Busting the Bank team, Dave and Cece. Round Hello. Hello. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Hello. Okay, so uh, here we are to do the Sounds Like videos. The first band we're gonna do today is Iron Maiden. So. Yes, Steve Harris, the man himself, the galloping mule. Galloping horse. Is he? No, that's wrong, isn't it? But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> galloping mule? That thing. And I'm going to be doing Mr. Dave Murray, because Dave is Dave's like the, the, like the most consistent guitarist in Nine Mouth. I think he's been there for like from the beginning, apart from a brief period where he was fired. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to start with guitars. We are on the Squire wall, and I've already spied the guitar I'm going to use. So <laughs> it's going to be this one. It has to be this one. So Dave's a big Strat user, but he has a difference in the fact he always has humbuckers. Um, but normally, well, these days they're the similar looking power rail ones, but back in the day, you saw it, his, his initial black Strat had a, a Dimarzio in it, and a, a Dimarzio's, he's used those, and got similar dunk now. So I think this will get me in the ballpark. Bases. Yes, my favorite place. So we are here in the base room, and I'm spotted for the sake of a budget, a Ibanez Talman which has a P bass pickup. I was kind of hoping to use a P bass, but there aren't really any here that are going to fit the budget, so this seems like the best tool for the job if I can get it off the stand. <laughs> so, effects wise, Steve doesn't really use a hell of a lot of effects. Uh, the main one he uses is a compressor, so I'm going to attempt to find a cheap compressor, and I'm thinking. The Behringer EQ. Uh, no, nope, that's an EQ. <laughs> over there. Oh, safe. Over there. <laughs> it's over here. That's good. <laughs> okay, so where was it? It yes. was there. The, so, uh, oh yeah, and it's the both from the next to each other. Yeah. It's all preordained by we, the Lord of Steve Harris. Why did we stop over there? Okay, so Dave Murray Ooh. pedals. So for Dave, Dave's kind of like pretty simple. He's not like a big effects guy, but I do need. Uh, I want a distortion pedal because I'm going to run the amp clean, use a pedal for the dis uh, his lead tone, I need a delay, I need a reverb, I need a chorus because Dave always has a chorus on, never turns it off, never has I don't think. Uh, I need a wah pedal as well, so I need something high gain as well, so I'm thinking I'm kind of torn between uh, the Black T and the Noisy Boy by Tone City for distortion. Thinking the Noisy Boy though because it's got more gain. Uh, delay, I'm going to use the Behringer Digital Multi Effects uh, thing, which I think has a delay in it. No, but it's got a chorus in it, so I'll use that for chorus. I thought I had a delay, but that's okay. <laughs> I know my pedals. I do. Don't. As do I, obviously. Oh, yeah, well, you know. <laughs> Probably the Vox. Dave uses a Crybaby, but it's the rack mount, and that's way above budget, so I can't afford that. So, probably the Vox Silvertop wah there, and delay on the hunt for, always on the hunt for delay. <laughs> What have we got? I'll get them now, I'll get them. Um, something digital delay. Shall we ask the staff at Anderson what they would recommend for a good cheap digital delay? Yeah. So there was a delay here all the time, but it's this tiny little pink moor pedal right there. So it's tiny, but that's the delay pedal I'm going to use. Um, so I think that's pretty much everything, because I'll probably end up using a reverb on the amp just to add that space. Dave's drive sound doesn't really have reverb, but I don't think it should get in the way too much, so we should be okay. Uh, so with the Squire, these pedals, um, and the amp, we should be good. Should be good. I, <laughs> I am confident in myself. I'm a Dave as well, so. Yeah, exactly, the there you go. Okay, so the amp I've chosen with Dave Murray is a bit weird, because Dave uses Marshalls, uses JMPs and all that kind of stuff, he uses uh, the rack mount stuff now, but I'm using a Fender, which is, but it's the new Fender cardboard box edition. Um, <laughs> it's a, a million watts. No. Um, sounds I'm using a bit the boxy. It does sound very boxy, but it'll be okay. Uh, it's the, the 50XL, which I can never say. So I'm going to use this, and basically what this is going to give me is that kind of, hopefully that kind of sparkly clean-ish 
tone that Dave's got, and then basically, uh, like with the noise boy, kick it into martial territory. All be well. I'm confident. Yeah. I am. I am. <laughs> so for Steve Harris, I'm hoping to use the Orange Crush 50, which unfortunately isn't in the store, but I know they have one here. So it's going to magically teleport into the video room. <laughs> back in the video room with our Iron Maiden setups. So, let's start with the bass. Mr. Steve Harris. <laughs> Mine ended up being way more simple than I thought because I thought I was gonna need a compressor and an EQ pedal. And I plugged straight into the amp and was like, there it is. Easy peasy, <laughs> so no pedals. Nope, so, no. cause I was gonna use the uh, Behringer compressor CS400 and BEQ700 EQ pedal. Go on, show us, show, show us the sound. So... There it is. <laughs> sound, sounds like <laughs> Steve to me. He's got that kind of like clanky, trebly P bass sound. Tone. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. So what's the bass? So this is an Ibanez Talman Series 4, and I've literally got everything middled on this and the reason i chose this is for the p bass pickup yes so, yeah i couldn't find a cheap p bass and this to be honest i wasn't sure how this was going to come across but it's come across perfectly it does the so, job it sounds yeah. great i love it so it's so cool it's just like straight into amp as well because like steve isn't a really a pedal guy is it? No. he just kind of goes but oh, it's, it's an amp i plug into that and i turn it up so that's it isn't it <laughs> So that was much. easy. So I'm a bit more involved. So I have four pedals. So uh, the amp I'm using is the Champ the Fender Champion 50XL. I really like these amps. Uh, I'm using the uh, overdrive channel, like a, which is kind of strange, but I'm using the overdrive channel set to the clean mode. Uh, and I've got gain all the way up. Uh, I've got the treble about one o'clock, bass is at 12. Uh, no, yeah, treble at one o'clock, bass is at 12 o'clock. I've got the reverb is coming from the amp. Quite a lot of reverb, just to give it the space, because uh, Dave, back in the day, didn't use reverb on his clean channel, but more, I'm going for the kind of more modern Dave kind of Murray tone, and he does have lots of reverb on there. So that's how the amp is. Uh, from there, we're going to the Angel Wing Chorus by Tone City. This is on all the time. And I've got it set just to basically just kind of, um, this is what, this is just the basic, this is the amp sound. And then with the angel wing, 
because Dave pretty much runs a chorus all the time, I would say. It just gives it that extra Iron Maidenness. <laughs> It, it, it just adds a bit of more, bit more sparkle over the, the sound, and so I've got it. I've got it actually running with the level all the way down. So if there's no level. The depth is at twelve o'clock, and the rate's about ten o'clock. It's very, it's very subtle. There's not really a great deal going on. Uh, from there, I've got the profit digital delay. This delay is really, really cool. Dave has a couple of different delays, as far as I know, but one, the main one, is a six hundred millisecond delay. So it's quite long. I've got this one set like this though. So the repeats are quite loud because I want it to kind of sound epic when I go for Dave Murray-esque solos. <laughs> uh, so that's that. And then distortion, I have the noisy boy, uh, which is just a noisy boy. Sounds like that. <laughs> It do, it's got the right, with, with the humbuckers, it's just got the right amount of gain for Dave. I just I, I was wondering if I might need a booster, but I don't, so we're all good. I've just basically gunned the gain on it. So gain is all the way up, presence all the way down, volume's at 12 o'clock, and tone's all the way up. And then the last pedal is the Crybaby Wah, uh, does what Wahs do. <laughs> Sounds great, and, and I say the reverb sounds, uh, the delay sounds really nice for. It sounds really nice on the clean parts as well. So, all in all, I love this sound. And it's, it's, it sounds wicked. So, and again, Dave's got like that like, really awesome legato style playing, where he does that kind of uh, kind of crazy epic fast runs and then big bends. So. And that just kind of does that. I would say the delay needs to be a bit longer, actually, but I quite like where that's set. But And the last thing is the Squire uh, strap with two humbuckers, freeway selector, volume tone. Does what it says on the tin. Yep. So, yeah, very simple. Um, uh, I need to mention my amp settings as oh, well. Oh, yes. So, Go ahead. Relatively straightforward. I've got treble at 3 o'clock, uh, middle all the way off, um, and the bass 12 o'clock. And that's pretty much it. But um, one other thing to note as well is that Steve Harris has his action really low, which is going to help you get that kind of clanky sound as well. Mm. And the other thing is, uh, there's kind of a misconception that he plays with three fingers, so like... But it's actually with two. And I realise as well, he'll mute the notes in between, which I was guilty of not doing, and I figured that out. So it's more like... And it instantly and sounds more right. It does. It, it sounds more like it. So yeah. there uh, you go. Same thing with Dave. Dave has a very low action, uses gauge nine strings, doesn't use big heavy strings. And, and again, it helps for those really legato-y solos. It, you know, and again, he has, he has a guitar quite high, but Dave's one of my favourite guitar players of all time. Love that man's sound. It's so cool. So I feel that I feel that it's got pretty close, to be honest with you. Yeah. I feel pretty, your, your sound is just literally on the, on the nail <laughs> on the head. It's ridiculous. <laughs> But I do like I do like this. Come on. I love yes. that though. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, yes. Prices. Also, prices. Prices. Yes. Oh yes. So, uh, do you want to go first? Uh, <laughs> of what yeah, you well, have. Let, let me quickly look. I've forgotten how much this one is. So Price. prices, yes. This is one seven nine, and the amp, the Orange Crush Base Fifty, is two two nine. Awesome. So, so, very very cheap. Very cheap. So mine is a little bit more expensive this time. Uh, the Noisy Boy is sixty pounds. Uh, I forget what the profit is actually. Uh, the Angel Wing is about uh, it's about forty. Uh, the amp, I am not sure of. What's the amp? One nine nine for the Squire. That's a bargain. Uh, so the amp's uh, 100 and... No, 200 and... 20. 20. Yay! I'm getting help because I, I don't remember numbers. Uh, and then you got the pedals, 40, 35, 
Uh, that's 60, isn't it? Yeah, 59.99. And then the wah pedal's about 80. So I'm just about nearly about best part of low 600s. Yeah, so it's not bad though, considering I'm covered all bases. No. Anyway, so yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, um, let us know, how did we do? And uh, yeah, we'll see you again on the one. Yep, Goodbye see now. you next time. And Do also, like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe now. Like and subscribe. Do it! <laughs>